Hi, okay, so here I am. <coughs> We're going to take a look at graphing step functions. We took a look at solving step functions, so now let's take a look at graphing step functions. And you can hear the dogs playing in the background, maybe. <laughs> Okay, so the thing is, is we're just going to take a look at the, the greatest integer function here. And um, so we have f of x equals the greatest integer function of x minus 4. So if we have to graph something, remember the easiest way to graph something, if you're not sure and if it kind of seems it's unfamiliar terrain, is make a table. Make a table and, and, and start from there. So we took a look at solving you know, how you solve a, a, a greatest integer function. Now we're going to solve it for a bunch of different values. Um, and remember, we're talking about an interval here. Okay, so we're talking about an interval. So the thing is, is we really want to explore this. Um, <clears throat> we want to explore values of x between an interval. So let's just pick 2.1, uh, 2.3, 2 2.7. And now we'll take a look at 3 and then 3.2. 3.5 and 3.8. That's a 5 right there. So, <clears throat> so now, yesterday, or, or the previous video, showed um, solving this function for 2.3. Now we're going to solve it. And, and we saw, uh, and now we're going to solve it for a whole bunch of different values. But you'll see there's a pattern that de develops. So we'll like, take an f of uh, 2.1 is equal to uh, the greatest integer function of 2.1, right, minus 4. Well, it says, uh, when we're using this function, it assigns the greatest integer less than or equal to each real number. Well, the greatest integer less than 2.1 is just 2. So we have 2 minus 4, and that's equal to negative 2. So we've got negative 2 here. So when x equals 2.1, f of x is equal to negative 2. Let's take a look at f of 2.3. Well, we did, you know, did this in the previous video, but just in case you didn't watch that video, we'll do it again. 2.3 minus 4. Well, right, we're, we're, we're here in the same pattern. What is the greatest integer... Um, you know, if we're doing the greatest integer function for 2.3, we've got to find the greatest integer less than, less than, okay? That's the big there. Or equal to, right, or equal to um, each real number. So the real number is 2.3. The integer, the, the greatest integer that is less than that is going to be, again, 2. 2 minus 4 is equal to negative 2. So when f so f of 2.3 is negative 2. Oh my word, look at this. There's a pattern developing. Huh. So we have um, f of um, 2.7 equals 2.7 minus 4. Well, what do you think is going to happen here, right? <laughs> Greatest integer uh, for 2.7 or, or the floor is again going to be equal to 2 minus 4. And that is just going to be equal to negative 2. Okay. Um, now we need to do it for all of these here. And um, um, I'd like you to try to do that on, on your own. Maybe pause uh, and then come back and take a look. So, okay, you paused and you came back and here you are. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have a way of um, erasing. Oh, I do. Okay, yeah, maybe, so I'll, I'll, I'll erase some of this, boom, so that I can make room to do another one. Because once we have, we have the data, it's all set up, it's pretty easy. <laughs> huh. Oh, I appreciate your patience in, in uh, oh, I could just touch it, there we go, okay, boom. So, <clears throat> let's take a look at um, F of 3. minus 4. Well, it says less than or equal to, so less than or equal to 3 is just equal to 3 minus 4, and that's equal to negative 1. Boom. Uh-oh, there, there's a pattern going on here. Well, let's just, let's just take a look at 3.5, f of 3.5, because once the pattern begins, it's going to continue through 3.5 through the whole interval. 
Well, you know, the greatest integer for 3.5 is just 3. Minus 4 equals negative 1. So look at that. There's the pattern. So for the interval between 3 and 3.9999999, it's negative 1. Okay, so now we've got a table. Once we have a table set up, we can take that table and apply it to a graph. So we know that when x is... Um, well, let's take a look at this one here. Let's take a look at these here. We know that when x is 3, 1, 2, 3, that the f of x is negative 1. Boom, right there. And we know that when x is 3.2, Boom, um, f of x is negative 1. We know that when it's 3.5, f of x is negative 1, and so on and so forth. So, boom, it just goes like this, but it never gets to 4, so it's got to be an open circle. Boom, there it is right there. Okay, and then likewise, when x is 2, it's going to be negative 2. And then an open circle at 3. And so at this point, you don't even have to know the rest of it. You could see the pattern and you can just, you could actually put the pattern, you just follow the pattern. And so this is going to be the step function for um, f of x equals minus 4. Right? Boom. It's just like that. The pattern, the pattern keeps on continuing on. And then likewise, right here. Okay, that's how you graph it. Okay, hopefully you found this to be helpful.